Controversies involving Mike Johnson and his son resurfaces. Uh, odd, another odd thing from his, other than his criminal record. Yeah, this is arrest.org. This is his mugshot. Yeah, he don't care. He's just like, yeah, yeah. My head tilted, yeah. Street cred, yeah. Right? Here's Mike Johnson. Uh, there is he. And here's another weird part. Uh, they also monitored each other's prawn usage. Yeah. Kind of weird, huh? Yeah, he's adopted. Oh, and he's previously detained for an, uh, an illegal cannabis business. Mind you, that is just what he got caught for. The rap sheet probably goes on and on, right? Let's get to this article. Mike Johnson finds himself entangled in controversy once more as past incidences involving his adopted son resurfaces amid the legislative tumult. Last week, the House of Representatives under Johnson's leadership and his comrades passed two America Last legislations. Yeah, they had the FISA thing, and then they also gave a ton of money to Ukraine. And uh, he did the the thing that go, the money to Ukraine was a deal for the Democrats to keep him as speaker, which, to be honest, would right now is probably not a good time to vacate him because we're only ahead by one one or two votes, and that would mean that uh, they they only need one person to switch sides to uh, put in Hakeem Jeffries, and then we'll lose all our committees, right? So we just have to ride it out for another eight months. Anyways, this decision drew sharp, sharp, sharp criticism, including conservative commentator Charlie Kirk, who accused Johnson of betraying the American people and undermining the Constitution in an attempt to halt the momentum of the FISA Section 702 extension. Anna Paulina Luna, hottest rep out there, employed a procedural strategy to delay the Senate's consideration of the bill. Despite her efforts, the bill passed again. Yeah, they even they came in on a weekend to pass it, guys, on Saturday. The vote delayed a uniparty alliance with 147 Democrats and 126 Republicans supporting the bill, while 88 Republicans and 59 Democrats opposed it. A second major legis legislative action under Johnson involved passing three bills aimed at providing foreign aid. The package, Johnson and Clear, we know about all that. Um, <clears throat> now a scandal involving Johnson's family has reemerged. CIA slash NSA whistleblower Tony Siruga brought to light troubling details about the speakers the speaker on twitter he writes house speaker mike johnson's adopted 40 year old son he adopted when he was 20, 16 uh his name is michael terrell james was detained in los angeles for running a cannabis business and possession of brass knuckles oh yeah a lot of these are illegal in la by the way brass knuckles uh magazines above 10 uh knives that open too quickly yeah his rap sheet in la goes back to 2003. he also writes i'm tracking down additional details on just why a senior member of the republican party had to meet with the son of son after los angeles authorities alerted johnson following his arrest so because his son got arrested well, what, are you, what are you talking about you have a problem with him meeting his son because he got arrested had to be with the son after la authorities alerted johnson up the arrest yeah that's what you do you bail your kid out you know the kid that you probably had he's probably also your butt buddy right Ooh. so um uh, that doesn't make any sense but yeah the, the fact that he has a troubled child and also that he's super corrupt uh tells me that this is another pelosi family here the newlyweds mike and kelly johnson adopted james then 16 after meeting him through charitable work in louisiana in the 1990s Despite a seemingly positive change in trajectory after the adoption, with James obtaining his GED and graduating from a Jobs Corp program, his life was marred by a series of illegal issues. Uh, illegal issues. <clears throat> James's rap sheet, which includes a range of drug-related and petty crimes, dates back to 2003. In contrast, while Speaker Johnson's biological children have captured their lives in family photos, James's past is mostly documented through mug shots. So you telling me you don't have photos with this guy other than maybe that one right here? Mm. This reminds me a lot of um, uh, what's his face who adopted a, a son and his one son is like super tranny, but the, his other kids, biological kids are not. Yeah, that's, that's interesting, right? 
Residing re recently residing in Los Angeles and raising his four kids, James's brush with the law continued. His most recent illegal issue was somewhat mitigated when a Los Angeles judge decided to divert his charges pending community service and stipulations about his employment. Another controversial another controversy emerged involving Johnson's legal son. Rolling Stone reported on a resurfaced clip from 2002 where Speaker Johnson admitted to monitoring his son and his and his son's prawn usage. But what do you mean by monitor? Why do you, why would you have to monitor your own? That doesn't make any sense. Speaker of the House Mike Johnson admitted that his he and his son monitored each other's got it. Monitor each other's. Thank you for writing that out so clearly, Jim Hoft. Good lord. At least Rolling Stones got that right. Anyways, uh, admitted that he and his son monitored each other's prawn intake in a resurfaced clip from 2022. During a conversation on the war on technology at Benton, Louisiana's Cypress Baptist Church, uh, the Louisiana representative, talking about Mike Johnson here, talked about how he installed accountability software called Covenant Eyes on his devices in order to abstain from internet prawn and other unsavory websites. I mean, you're just going to use a different device, stupid. So dumb. You get a second phone, right? You go incognito mode, which, by the way, isn't real. <laughs> incognito mode is still tracked. It scans all the activity on your phone or your devices, your laptop, what you have, we can do it, says Mike Johnson. So he's also a pro spying, pro monitoring, pro FISA type of person, right? <clears throat> It sends you a report to your accountability partner. My accountability partner right now is Jack, my son. He's 17. So he and I get a report about all the things that are on our phones, all our devices once a week. If anything objectionable comes up, your accountability partner gets an immediate notice. I'm proud to tell you, my son has got a clean slate on that device. Okay, not, not all his other devices. This is so stupid and creepy, man. I'm going to watch you, okay? You're going to watch me, yeah? Freaking gross. This is a gross family, man. Holy crap.